of clothing I've been keeping that I'm going to be converting to. Okay, what do we got? Shorts. Trashed. Okay. And we got a bunch of shit in here. Look at this crap. What is this? Fucking garbage. Get it gone. It's gone. 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 Fucking gone. Who the fuck were those? Gone. Pants. Wet pants. Whew. Yeah. Look at the dog hair on this. Hot damn. Yeah. Would I actually wear these working out? Or would I walk around and act like I'm all a hip hop gangster guy? You know? Fuck. Okay, so we're done. So we got so far, my wardrobe consists of some t-shirts and a Kung Fu outfit. Now this means that whenever you meet me, you're welcome to call me on it because this is all the clothing I have. After all the clothing is done, I'm not just taking it filing it. It goes into the winter dress folder or it goes, uh, well, pretty much into the, uh, <coughs> the uh, dumpster. Well, not the dumpster, but you know, those clothing donations. Please. All right. Pants. Seven pairs of pants, I believe, is uh, what we, is, is the, the, no, it's five pairs of pants, two pairs of shorts. Good Marpat desert wear, gotta have that. A hat of summertime dress. You always must have a boonie hat, but I'll be getting the boonie hats later. Okay. Shirt with a beer company logo on it. You're gone. We got a uh, Hawaiian shirts. Now, Hawaiian shirts, like old underwear and certain t-shirts, have so much. You have to be very careful with Hawaiian shirts because they have a lot of power. You have to respect Hawaiian shirts. If there was one thing that I would say would be a wog symbol, I would probably say a Hawaiian shirt would be in there somewhere. You know what I mean? If you would have a photograph of the ultimate wog, I think on some level you'd have to be wearing a, a Hawaiian shirt. I'm pretty sure about that. This particular one is too small for me, so it's been. Uh, we got some shorts here. Hey, first pair of shorts. I have a desert issue t-shirt. Oh, a white t-shirt. Always have a white t-shirt. Always. Just plain white t-shirt. Okay, so we, we still need one more t-shirt. I'll put the .50 in there for now, because we'll put it later. That gives me seven t-shirts. This goes in the t-shirt bin. Okay, Hawaiian shirts. You can have up to seven Hawaiian t-shirts. You can't have more if you find good ones. So I'm just going to start filing them in there. One Hawaiian shirt. This one's a good one. Two Hawaiian shirts. Over here, Hawaiian shirt, the quality of a Hawaiian shirt. Hawaiian shirts should cause pain upon the mind. There's a Russian word. That word is lumshabuck. And loosely translated into English, lum shabak means thing that hurts my head, which causes you to access things on a level you probably don't understand. So any Hawaiian shirt by nature has soma and should be like a lum shabak, you know? I give you that, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just qualifies as a Hawaiian shirt. Huh? Well, barely. Barely? Barely. Yeah, it's got some soma though, I've had it for a while. I'm allowed seven. Okay, seven, keep that one as a seven. Yeah, seven. Okay, we got the shirt issue sorted. Pants. One. Blue jeans. So I'm going to keep blue jeans because blue jeans are there. So we got two pairs of pants here, one pair of shorts. Kung Fu pants. Ah, the infamous Kung Fu outfit. That's when you wear that, by the way. When you're not going outside, when you get up in the morning, this should be the clothing that you wear to, like, stretch in, do your exercise in. Uh, very, very comfortable. It doesn't it, It's for indoor use only. It's not for public uh, witnessing. I prefer the Kung Fu outfit because, you know, you can't fuck with 6,000 years of Japanese engineering. So, uh, we got another pair of pants here. These are Canadian Combats. Always good. Gotta have them. Uh, so we got three pairs. One, two, three. The one exception is work clothing. I am so gracefully employed that I happen to work for a security company. So that means I get to wear this clothing anytime I want, pretty much, which is fun. So, uh, but black combat pants are pretty much my security dress at work. So that's work clothing. Vests. This is technically outerwear and therefore not, uh, not constituted as part of personal wardrobe. This is a, this is a, a, a coat, and uh, this is actually a desert vest. So when we get to the coat segment sometime, we'll, we'll, we'll do coats, but vests uh, have the same ruling as Jagger. You have a summer vest and a winter vest. This is my summer vest, so this stays. Another white t-shirt. I need another white t-shirt. 0.50 loses to a white t-shirt. Yeah, that's gonna hurt somewhere, guys. Japanese manga biker wear. Now this is popular. Now this, what this is here, is a poster that they put onto a shirt in an attempt to make Hawaiian shirts. And these are evil. Okay, if it's not a Hawaiian shirt, it's not a Hawaiian shirt. Ooh, desert pants. Nice, this is handy for the civilian life. This is great. Because see, my wife is not a walk, so I've got to kind of, it, it's great for you as viewers because you'll be able to see me try to live my life uh, being civilian. So I'll look a lot like a narc. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Okay, these, very few garments of clothing will I ever fucking stand up and sit down and say, dude, you gotta buy a pair of these. You have to buy a pair of these. These are the shorts I wore at Burning Man. Okay, if you, if you, Burning Man has since told us that we're horrible people 
and, and by distributing free art to everyone throughout the web, we've completely gone against the spirit of Burning Man, and we're very sorry, and, uh, you know, so we can't distribute our, our stuff anymore about Burning Man, even though it was, it was probably pretty nice, and I actually got a lot of really positive feedback on it, and it's, it's a shame, but I guess uh, Burning Man isn't about that. So, that's okay. But when I was at Burning Man, because that was, that was two years ago. When I was at Burning Man, they were really cool. And uh, they were really cool people back then. I was walking around wearing these, and these, like, I'm talking in that desert, which is an alkaline acid, everything's all double-stitched. Uh, these are the chocolate chip uh, shorts, and these ones aren't even reinforced in the ass. Uh, they're just, oh, man. The company that makes them, I'll give you the company that makes them. Is this Issue? Yeah, this one's Issue. Nice, it wasn't made. There's a company that makes them. But this is an extra large short. You can zoom in on this label. Extra large short, inseam 26 to 28 inch or whatever. So these shorts, this, these are like, those shorts, uh, like these ones will rot off my body. I have a lot of sewing. There's seven pairs of pants. Einstein, a lot of people are like, you Sean, you're so fucked. No, dude, Einstein had seven sets of the same pair of clothes. Seven sets. Why did I come up with seven as a number? Einstein. Yeah, that's what he did. Why? Because he didn't have time to worry about the bullshit that society puts on clothing. So you got to take a lesson from Einstein. So anyway, uh, we got... The shorts, pants, we got one, two, three, four pairs of pants. Thermal vest. Now, uh, a lot of people go, hey, Sean, isn't that thermal? Yeah, but it's a vest. You only wear thermal vests in the summertime. Thermal vest is specialty gear. This is actually a piece of equipment. I mean, that's how you can tell. If it's something that's designed for purpose, this is to be designed as field gear. This is the kind of thing that you put in your backpack. It's just a standard fleece vest. Uh, I'm looking for a logo. Is there a logo on it? No, I cut the logo off. Good. This is how you sanitize your gear. Uh, but there was a label here at one point. And what you do is you just cut the label off, and then you wear the clothing anyway. Yeah. And some people are like, well, people make fun of me if I'm not wearing Gap. Yeah, but you're not wearing anything. You're just wearing a vest. Anyone who make fun of you about the clothing you wear, you make a mental note of that person in your mind. You form a perfect picture of what they look like and who they are, and then you never, ever have anything to do with them ever again because they're idiots. This is a pinnacle moment because there's clothing everywhere. All of that stuff there is leaving. So really, all the clothing I own right now that is current is right here. This is it. This is the whole gig. This is all the clothes I have, other than my, other than some some shirts. Let's pull it out. Two, three. This is it. That's the whole nine yards, baby. And uh, it's not a lot, is it? You know. Why, why would you? Uh, why would you be buying clothes that, that don't work? Anything that's a physical material item is what does it do, how well does it do this, and if you're worried about the level of technology, think about how small it is. But uh, yeah, other than that, there's really no reason whatsoever in the wog mind to have excess crap. Because the things that you own don't own you, but what they do do is they uh, they can be used against you. The less you have, the less they can take away. So make sure the stuff you keep is what's important. You've only got so much attention. So focus on the things that are important, like your life, like your girlfriend, like, like whoever. You've got to focus on that. You've got to focus on what's important to you. You gotta forget what other people say. Voltaire had it down, man. He said, to care what other people think is to be controlled by them. And that's, that's bang on. But we forget that, and we make exceptions to that rule. But there's no place for that anymore. Things have gone too far. We need to get control of it. So I'm gonna take this clothes now, and I'm gonna, uh, well, I'm gonna take them down and donate them to a good cause. Don't throw clothes away, never destroy. You gotta focus on what's important. You gotta get back to the fundamentals here, man. That's the idea. Anyway, let's get these down to the, down to the, uh, where the hell? One of them donation joints. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta find yourself, after you got your bag full of clothing that you're no longer keeping, you find yourself a clothing bank and then you just drop in.